Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall, where using my SKG discount code leads to a 25% off across several products, making a Windows 10 serial key only $16. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and all you need to do is to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, I'm Shinkin Plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. So as for today's video, we're gonna test a bit of the AMD's suppression noise feature, noise suppression feature basically, uh, which is one of the new features that they presented on the 22.7.1 drivers. Uh, Nvidia has the RTX voice, I believe, or now it's calling it's called like something like broadcasting software or something like that. And now we have the noise suppression on the AMD side as well. Take into consideration that from what I know on these 22.7.1 drivers, the noise suppression is only available for the RX 6000 series, okay? So if you have an older GPU, sadly, at least for now, you won't be able to use the noise suppression. I tested on the 5700 XT and it was a no-go. It doesn't even appear there. So I believe it is only for the RX 6000 series, okay? Um, well, first thing you actually need to do is click on the, on, on your right mouse, right... <laughs> first thing that you have to do is actually click on the right button of your mouse on the desktop and go for AMD Software Adrenaline Edition. Open it, then go to the settings, to the settings icon going to the settings menu, then you go to the audio and video tab. Open it and you have it here, so AMD Noise Suppression. AMD Noise Suppression uses machine learning to reduce the background audio noise in real time. All you have to do is, bam, enable it. You can skip the, the guide because the guide doesn't really have doesn't really help at all, I mean, it's useless. As for the input device, you can now select the input device and the output device. And this is really interesting because if you select the, your input device, the noise suppression will act over your microphone, okay? If you select the output device, if you are in a call, it will act over the other people's microphone. So it will act over the audio you're receiving. You're receiving. Imagine if your friend has a lot of background noise in his a microphone then you go to the output device and select your your output device your speakers your headset you just select um, the one you're using right now to listen to your friends and then you just bam select it and the noise suppression will act over the audio you're receiving from your friend and will indeed decrease decrease I mean it will indeed decrease the um, the background noise from your friend's microphone so input device your microphone, output device, your friends or your uh, your work, your work colleagues microphone. That's how it works. Input, output. For now, we're just gonna test ours, okay? And we're gonna test the analog one plus two focus right USB audio, which is where my uh, oh sorry, my microphone is connected, okay? We're gonna test it, for example, with the audio feature. I mean, like sound recorder seems nice to me. Let's just go to sound recorder, I guess. And let me just put the headset to actually listen to the results. Now, to activate the, um, the noise suppression, you actually need to select the... Um, instead of your microphone, you need to select this one. Microphone AMD streaming audio device. If you select your current microphone instead of the AMD streaming audio device, you will just have your current microphone. So if you're streaming, if you're recording, you need to go into the recording or streaming or streaming software and select microphone AMD streaming audio device. Unless, uh, not unless, but if you don't do it, you'll just have your normal uh, non-noise suppression audio, okay? So let's delete this one. Let's select the normal one to see how it goes. Uh, and then the noise suppression. Let's start, for example, with a simple thing. Oh, my microphone is. Let's start with a simple thing, for example, as my fan noise. Okay, let's record the fan noise without the noise suppression. 
as you can see I believe you can hear the the volume yep almost likely have to actually increase the um, the dBs for you to actually hear but uh, I believe it won't be necessary as you can see I believe you can hear the the volume yep yeah basically on this kit it doesn't seem to have a real problem because the sound is far away but let's still select oh my bad let's just go for example to the um, okay let's change normal one okay now let's use the noise suppression from AMD okay as you can hear oh it isn't working it isn't, it isn't working, working. it seems. What the? And I, I need to understand why. Maybe because I tested with these the, the microphone from my headset before and it was working. But since I'm using the analog, um, the Focusrite USB audio, it may be not be working due to that because it has two entrances and I'm just using one of them. Um, that's strange. Let's try again. Sound, 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 sound. Yep, that's a bummer, I guess. Let's try with another microphone. Let's try with this one. Okay. From our headset, because most people will use it with the headset, I believe. Let's see. Okay. Let's see if we can hear the background noise. Okay. Yeah, we can definitely hear the background noise. Let's just select here. And let's go now for the microphone AMD streaming audio device. Let's try again. Sound. One, two, three, sound. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, this is with uh, the, the fan. We can actually hear the fan. Yeah, let's try with the noise suppression. Sound. Quiet. No fan audio. One, two, three, sound. Okay, the quality, the quality of, the, um, of the audio seems worse indeed. The, my voice seems to be a little worse in terms of quality. Okay. Yeah, the microphone is quite bad, but um, the, I mean, the, the, not the clearance, the, um, the voice is a bit clearer in this particular one with, without the noise suppression, but we definitely don't have the, the sound in the background. Sound? Yeah, no background sound. So let's try another one once again. Let's try together with this. Let's make some noise like... Yeah, let's try. So let's record the fifth one with the normal microphone. Hello, one, two, three. Hello, one, two, three. ABC. Can already see by, by here that that's a lot of noise. Let's, let's hear it. Hello, one, two, three. Hello, one, two, three. ABC. Great. So now let's use the, the the microphone with the noise suppression. Okay, let's go. One two three sound. Welcome to the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. Now, as you can see already, um, the algorithm is actually learning. So it hears the sound first, as you can see here. And after the first time, it sees it at background as background noise and just eliminates it. Let's hear it. One, two, three, sound. Oh, my God. Welcome to the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. 
Yeah. It definitely removes the background sound, uh, but as soon as you go into the voice part, well, yeah, the voice part is really, really bad. So as for the noise, the the noise from the fan, it works completely fine. But as as of this metallic noise due to maybe due to the frequencies that we're using, the things are just it's just bad. I mean, we can still hear it a bit. One, two, three, sound. But that's not the bad part. That's the bad part is when we actually go into the voice. It's just. It's just messy. Let's test, for example, with some background music. Okay, some music from Samsung Over the Horizon. Okay, let's test. One, two, three, with the normal microphone. Sound, sound, sound. Okay, guys, let's go to play. Let's do some shooting. Yeah. Okay, let's hear it. Sound, sound, sound. Okay, guys, let's go to play. Let's do some shooting. Yeah. Okay, we can definitely hear the, the music. Not annoying per se, due to, the, to how calming the music is, but it's there. Let's try with a noise suppression. Okay. Okay, let's go. So guys, let's do some shooting. Let's see how it goes. Let's let's play PUBG. Let's play Apex Legends. Yeah, let's go. Move on. Let's see how this went. I'm curious. So guys, let's do some shooting. Let's see how it goes. Let's let's play PUBG. Let's play Apex Legends. Yeah, let's go. Move on. Not bad, actually. As for the fan noise and for the, um, the background music, the, uh, the algorithm actually works pretty well. It seems that, are, that on the, the, mat the metallic sounds with higher frequencies, maybe, that's where the problem is. But if you're actually aiming at removing background noise like music and wind, it actually seems pretty good, it seems to work, but uh, as for the metallic sounds, it's just a big no. Let's try again with the metallic sounds. So guys, welcome. So guys, let's shoot some people, I mean, let's play, let's play Apex Legends. Let's play PUBG. Let's see how it goes. Okay, let's hear it. Metallic sounds. Okay, it was suppressed after the second tick. So guys, welcome. Not bad here. So guys, let's shoot some people. I mean, let's play, let's play Apex Legends. Let's play PUBG. Let's see how it goes. It seems that as soon as you as you put it uh, on a lower pace instead of this, you do something like this. It will work perfectly fine. I'm actually surprised because the last one was really really bad. I believe it was the fifth one. No, it was the sixth one. One for three sound. Yeah, this was really bad, but, but as soon as we slow the pace and we actually... Uh, maybe the algorithm already learned. I mean, I don't really know, but it seems way better here. Yeah, it seems way better. So guys, welcome. Way better than before, not even a, a competition. So guys, let's shoot some people. I mean, let's play, let's play Apex Legends. Let's play PUBG. Let's see how it goes. Okay, let's hear it. That's actually that's actually pretty interesting. At the beginning it wasn't working as well, but it seems that it is working now pretty awesomely. I mean, it's something free. It's free software that you do not have to pay uh, at all. But I mean, 
I believe that RTX voice works better and I will indeed test it because I have the 3050 there. So I will do a video later about the AMD noise suppression versus the RTX voice. I just want to know how it works. Okay, now let's let's test for example the output device. Let's see how that works. So for the output device, I will disable the, um, the noise suppression in the output device and then I will enable it, for example, on my headset. So in here we have lots of noise, let's see how that works. Hello, one, two, three, hello, one, two, three, ABC. Well, it seems that the, the, audio, the audio noise suppression can't actually be seen on video because it works, it works directly with what I'm actually hearing in my headset or the one I choose, of course. Um, and I was actually hearing in this part, in this, the part before, I was hearing the noise being suppressed. I wasn't hearing that though, those noise peaks, but on the video the noise peaks are there because the algorithm is working directly with my headset, okay? So everything was working fine, but sadly you can't hear that part. But like I told you before, it was working fine. I even tested in other recordings and it was working them fine. I mean, it's free software, it's, it's okay, I believe. But anyway, let's move on. If you actually ask me, I am indeed surprised, okay? Because we're having metallic sounds. As, as I'm recording this, we're having metallic sounds and music. At the same time, we're actually having the fan on the max settings. And it is indeed helping a lot. Microphone, microphone noise suppression was working fine until we started doing this a lot very fast, but as soon as we decrease the pacing, the noise suppression was working fine with this sound and the fan sound at the same time. And even with music from my smartphone, it is working very nice. For the first iteration of this software, I believe it isn't, it isn't bad at all. If AMD actually manages to improve this algorithm the, the same way they did with FSR, from FSR 1.0 to 2.0, which was a massive upgrade, a massive update. If we can actually have this on the noise suppression and we have a noise, a better noise suppression in the next few months, I believe it will become really, really good. But well, it is what it is. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. This is just a really, this was just a small test per se. I didn't go, I didn't deep dive into it. I didn't test the FPS, um, the FPS drop it would have in games due to using noise suppression. I will maybe do it in a future, but I believe the, the FPS difference would be less than 1% using noise suppression uh, since you're using your GPU. But I mean, it's just interesting to see that it, it works to some extent. In some scenarios, it works great. In some others, not really. Uh, like, for example, I couldn't make it work with my focus right. It just doesn't want to go with it. I'll just test it once again, but I don't believe we can actually have it working. Yes, no sound at all, and I believe it is due to the... Um, to, to having it on mono instead of stereo, I believe. I don't really know, but maybe that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. And see you in the next one. So, is AMD noise suppression working? Yes. Is it working perfectly? No. But it is free, so... It is not bad to have at all. It is actually pretty nice. See you in the next video, guys.